close. And it has to be moving. You can't just sit there. I think if you land on their nose and strip it out, it's going to be the, the ticket. Strip. Let them go by. Let's just not move. Maybe they'll come back up. Go. Good job. Feel that you got wild. the biggest one, too. It'll be a fight. Clear his line. I'll clear his line. I got his all in the basket. Good the job, other, John. The other ones are still around us. Yeah, and this is, the fight is not even near over. I want to get that line on the reel when you can. He's going to take you to the reel, and there's no need to horse him at all. He's not going anywhere. He's going to surge on you, so don't, you don't want to horse him too much early. There he's gonna go now. There you go. Let him run. He's sounding now. Okay, now you gotta be careful in here, John. If he goes under, you know how you gotta do. You gotta go around the nose if he goes under. He ain't ready, I can promise you. Bring him up, keep 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 it up, keep him up, keep him up, keep him up, keep him up. There you go, buddy. All right. That's a triple tail. That is a very nice triple tail. We'll have meat to bring home, huh? Give me a little bit. I can't tell. That was a great piece of rule. Triple tie tail in 28 feet of water. Port O'Connor, Gulf of Mexico, right there, baby. Right here. When oh, they call them triple tails. Best eating fish in the Gulf, right there. Like a big old grouper. Okay. He's a beaut. <laughs>